should be. There we go. This is screen recording. I'm going to do the Crucible uh, contest for the upcoming Snooker World Championships. Now, this has been a thing that has been a uh, it's been a thing for years, really, on this this website, eventprediction.com. They've done the Crucible contest uh, every year for for um, a long time. I think for about 25 years or something insane. So it'll be fun to take part in it. Um, I mean, one, we know straight away, I'm quite certain that uh, Kyron Wilson will win that because we know he will. Now, let's do this. So I think... I know people will disagree with me, but I think Tom Ford's going to beat Judd Trump. I just feel like Trump's not played well since the uh, uh, lockdown, and I feel like he's going to have the nerves of the crucible, and I think we'll see a shock. Um, yeah, this is a tough one to call, because uh, they're neither a player you'd really... I mean, you wouldn't expect Tom Ford or either of these to make the quarterfinals, I suppose, but uh, one of them will, so... You know what, I'm going to go with Slasser. I think he played really well in the uh, deciding match against um, uh, Martin O'Donnell. So he's in good form. He's, he's more warmed up. So I think that might, I think it might help the qualifiers, you know, because the players like Judd Trump, Yambi Tell, they've not played as much, whereas the qualifiers have played a lot of frames recently. It might give them a little bit of an edge. But having said that, I do think Maguire will win this one um, just because... He played really well in the uh, the last round event of the season, so I think he's in good form. Um, oh, I don't know if to go with my head or my heart. My head says Higgins, my heart says Stevens. I'm going to go with my heart. I'm going to say Stevens. I think John's run of finals will end. I think Stevens will get through to play Gilbert. I, I all respect to Mathlin. I think Gilbert will want to have a similar run to last year. I think he'll be doing well. Um, and Lazowski's not got the best form at the Crucible, whereas McGill's got nothing to lose, so I'm going to go with McGill for this one. And, uh, I mean, I think Jamie Clark's done amazingly just to reach the Crucible, but I don't think he's good enough to beat Mark Allen. I think Mark Allen has the experience, and is, uh, is no disrespect to Jamie, but Mark Allen is leagues above him. Um... Now, Mark Williams, he's usually not practising, he's usually not playing. Um, but then again, he did win just a couple of years ago, whereas McManus said he wasn't playing well in qualifying, but he qualified. So uh, I'm going to go Williams, I think. I just think he's got the, uh, he's got the edge, you know. Uh, this one again, Ashley Carty's done well just to qualify, but I think Stuart Bingham will be too good for him. Uh, I think Ding... Is bet is a just a much better player than Mark King, and I'd be amazed if he doesn't win that. This one's a tough match to call. It will be a very exciting match to watch, but you, I mean, you have to go with Ronnie. I think you know you can't. I don't think he'll go out in the first round two years in a row. That would be a huge shock. As good as Tepshire is, I think Ronnie on his day, he has a good chance in this tournament. Um, Jordan Brown, similar to, um, you know, Ashley Carty, and to uh. Jamie Clark, I think he's done well to qualify, but I just don't feel like he's um, going to have much of a chance against Selby, given Selby's experience. Uh, Sean Murphy's been one of the players of the season for me. I'd say he's, you know, he's. I wouldn't be surprised to see him win it. I'll be honest. Um, uh, Barry Hawkins against. I'm going to go for a shock, because I think you do need to go for a shock every now and then. I think Erson Backer is a very decent young player. He might surprise us. Um, and again, I think another shock, I think Wembo, you know, because Neil Robertson wasn't great in the Championship League. So that's what I'm going to go for. That's going to be my round two. Uh, and then this one, I think, uh, I just think Tom Ford reached the quarterfinals. I think he's um, a better break builder. And he's got more big match experience. I think he'll play against uh, Maguire. Again, he's the, the four man based on the last tournament. Um, and I think Gilbert will be too strong for Stevens just because his form in the last year was fantastic. And I think he'll play Mark Allen just uh, again. I, I'm 
I think there will be a few shocks in the first round, but the second round, I think that's more when you might see experience kind of take its toll. Although last year we did have Gilbert and Wilson in the uh, semis, so maybe this will come back to bite me, who knows. Uh, I think Bingham will beat Williams, just because I imagine Bingham's practicing harder than Williams. I think he'll play Ronnie. Again, I think uh, didn't Bingham beat Ronnie in the quarters a couple of years back, so that would be an interesting tie, but I think Ronnie would just be too strong for Ding. A bit of a shame that couldn't be the final. I'd love to see that as the final. Um, and I think Sean will beat Mark, because he's just, again, he's he's like the second best player this season, pretty much behind Judd in terms of um, earnings. And I think he'll play a Wembo. So that's my... Again, this might look ridiculous in three weeks, but... Um, it's just a bit of fun. I might get it right. Who knows? Uh, I'm looking at Abby Maguire reaching the semis against Mark Allen. I'd want Gilbert. My heart says Gilbert. But I just fancy Allen to have a, a good run. You know, he's up to rank four in the world. He's had a good season, kind of under the radar. Uh, and then I think Ronnie will actually beat Bingham. Uh, it won't be like uh, when Bingham won it. I think Ronnie will just edge it. I think I'm hoping Ronnie will come back from lockdown and have an intensity to him and sort of be playing his best snooker. And I think he'll play against Sean Murphy in the semis. Uh, and I think I'm going to go Maguire again, which will shock people. I don't think many people will have Maguire down as a finalist. But hey, if it's right, I'll look like a genius. And I think he'll play Sean Murphy. Uh, surprise you there. But I think Sean will just... Uh, Shock Ronnie in the semis, and I think Sean will win. That's what that's my predictions. It might all be completely wrong, but we're going to submit it. It's going to go in, and that's my predictions for the the Crucible contest. Uh, I'm contestant number eight twenty. So uh, there we go. I think this is something that's been running for many many years. I'll try and find uh, some information about it, but I think. You know, usually it gets about a thousand people taking part, so it's quite a uh, big thing, really. And there's not many um, sort of. God, eight twenty. So they do all the tournaments at the Tour Championship. They do darts, Gibraltar Open, all that stuff. Um, there was a thing. Here we go. That had a history of the Crucible contest, which has been going since okay, two thousand and one, basically. Um. I'll try and see how that 820 compares to previous years. Um, I don't know if you can see, but there, there used to be a thing where you'd be able to see uh, all the previous years, but I don't think you. Uh, I don't think you can anymore. Um, well, there's been 12,000 entries in total, so you know it's been going along long time um, and you can see some people have done it 15 times which is amazing um, and I wonder whether there's a uh, I would like to find the I guess I could just uh, look back at previous years that's probably a way of doing that let's look back at last year see how many people so there's 820 so far this year you can still enter until 11 a.m. tomorrow, and I don't know how many people entered last year, I'm going to try and find out. It's kind of like a tiny bit of a snooker history. Um, and that's for the whole season, that's not what I want. Maybe it's hard to find it, maybe you can't actually find it um, anymore, which is a shame, because it was definitely a way of... Uh, finding it that's just the draw there but yeah this bit's just me rambling trying to find it because i want to find it because i did find it interesting to see how because there used to be a standard of uh who won every single year and stuff like that but maybe they've uh let me open that one see if that helps um season's know whether you can find it but I'm just gonna 
yeah, most people you would have turned it off if you want to turn it off now and it's absolutely fine but i just want to see whether i can if i do that can i go back to here we go so 1089 last year so we're a bit behind that at the moment hopefully just do crucible and see all the 1045 987 so you see quite a lot of people do enter this uh, oh that's what i could do what an idiot okay crucible Come. there we go so you can see how many people enter sort of in 1998 there was one and 300 people did it and uh so we can actually you know you can see all the points for each year you can see who correctly picked who was the winner, who had the best thing, where they're from, you can see their score. Um, and yeah, 821, so still not as many as 2000, but 2019 was the second highest apparently. Um, so I do wonder if we'll ever beat that. But yeah, interesting to already have 821, it should go up a bit. Uh, I've done my entry, I'll put the link below if you want to enter. And uh, best of luck. Who do you think is going to win? Comment below.